hi, I'm Steve. Hi, I'm Helen. We've moved here from the UK. And I'm working in Auckland as a project manager for Firmasash. I kept saying to Helen, I, we, we could, you know, we could move to New Zealand. And Helen was like, no, don't be silly, don't be silly. <laughs> and then I had a plus three hour journey home from work on a Friday night. And I walked through the door and said, I'm applying to New Zealand. <laughs> we decided we would come out and see what it's all about. And then we were going to be really cold and rational and doing everything. It's got to be right and the package has got to be right. And we came out to New Zealand and all same business decisions went out the window. <laughs> there was a lot of common sense, but also the heart then played a, a big part in it as well. When we came over for Look See Build Week, the seminars were really, really useful. It all just made it all seem so, so seamless. It all went frighteningly quick. I went home with free job offers. <laughs> applied for a visa which came through in eight days so in that respect it all just seemed to snowball and go really really quickly. We've never been particularly spontaneous people we've always been quite careful and quite conservative. We didn't want to look back and say why aren't we in New Zealand we just thought let's go for it and you know it might be the other side of the world but speak the same language we drive on the same side of the road so it doesn't feel like a foreign country. Back in the UK Everybody talked about work-life balance as if it was something that really existed, whereas in New Zealand we're actively encouraged to take a break from work. When I leave work, the weekends I feel and the evenings are mine. This is our closest beach we can get here within 10 minutes, so we really love coming down here. On the spur of the moment you can hop in the car and pretty much within 20-25 minutes you can be on the beach up a mountain mm. sitting in the middle of a field in the middle of nowhere <laughs> sitting in the middle of the city and up on the seventh floor of a restaurant looking out over the harbour and it's like there's not many places in the world you can do that. If we'd have had the opportunity earlier to come earlier in our lives, lives you know when yeah. we were a bit younger maybe even when the kids were younger. We considered it about 15 years ago and we said about the upheaval for the kids and what have you but in hindsight having moved out here ourselves it would be for the kids because it is a fantastic place to bring up children. If you're thinking about making the move you've just got to jump in, decide to do it. You can overthink things sometimes and I think we might have been guilty of that in the past but certainly this was the best decision that we made. If people are thinking about it I think you've definitely got to come out here with you and your family if you can just to get the real you know feel for the place and everything. <laughs> It also meant that, that Helen couldn't play devil's advocate because she'd fallen in love with the place when she came out. So we were both smitten with New Zealand, so one, one of us couldn't talk the other one out of it. 